Hello guys, uh, today's video is about um, setting of the new coil. So I have, I have my new coil connected to the unit. Uh, the unit is a little bit closer to the coil which I, recommend, which I don't recommend. So normally you put the coil um, uh, to some distance from the unit. Also you should put the coil to some distance from the iron. So normally you put it on to some boxes, for example, to some uh, paper boxes. All right, so, okay, let's go. We have, we have set the unit, the basic settings are in. So let's just pretend that we have a new coil. So first of all, we select the free, uh, the free coin coil. So we, if you have coil number A, uh, you just select coil B, for example, yeah, any any kind of the letter. So let's go. Let's pretend it is coil C. Let's go inside. So first of all, we're finding this option, the frequency of the coil. Uh, we can go. We can just move the frequency by hands to the left and to the right. Our task is to find the maximum value of the of the coil current which is the resonance of our coil but we can go we can also go to auto let's let's go inside uh, if we put if we press ok the unit goes into the auto settings mode uh, it's quite long it will take uh, I would say like 25 seconds so I will put on pause so what does unit uh, do is uh, it goes through all of the frequencies two times and it detects the resonance point and in our case the resonance point is 9.6 kilohertz this is the maximum coil current and this is the quality factor of the coil it should be for a quasar it's likely to be around 6 so from 5 to 6 or 7 um, it doesn't make big sense but it's, it's uh, proof that uh, the coil is good uh, okay so don't forget to press OK to select to save this. Okay, so we pressed OK. The f we have now this frequency. We have just set the automatically set the frequency of the coil. Uh, okay, let's go to the to some other fancy menus, which is balance of the coil. Let's go inside. So uh, I need to switch off the automatical compensation. And if I switch off, I will see on the on the top, I will see the balance of our coil. Uh, it should be for F3, it should be around maybe 300. So from 250, 350, 400 is, is good, is quite good. Uh, the big balance is, is normally the sign that coil is made not really good. It's not really well made coil. And also the small balance, uh, it's not so dangerous, but it's also not really good. But if, it, if balance is bigger than like 500, 600, uh, it's not really superb coil. And if it's more than, than 1000, it's probably not, not good coil. But uh, Quasar also have the compensation for the, ba for the bad coils. And it works like this. I say uh, by these settings, by the need balance, I just say uh, what, how do I like to hear my coil. So this is my regular coil, and this is what I want to to be to, my coil to be. And I say I want it to to be 250 uh, millivolts coil. I want it to be perfect balanced coil. So. Don't change these values. They they are empiric, but they are they are good for for most of the people. So okay, uh, keep these values as as they are. Don't change them. And uh, what we have to do is we have to switch the compensator on. Look what is happening. Couple of seconds, and our coil becomes like we wanted it, like we wanted it to see. So uh, in reality, what uh, what is this for actually all of the coils even the good ones they will probably change their balance with the temperatures and if you want your uh, your coil stable 
uh, and working similarly in all the environments, uh, you, you must ensure that it has uh, a stable balance. So that's why we set what we want and that's why with activating this option we send, uh, we now put our coil into this mode. So basically lots of talking but you don't, you don't need all of these numbers. Your task is if your coils changed by, uh, by the temperature for example, uh, you just go into this menus and you just press off and on again and you will see the balance is changed. I can also um, I can also give you one example. If we make the balance worse, so for example we we, we take this ferrite and okay so now our coil became much worse. I switch off a compensator you can see that the balance is high now. I switch it on and the balance is back to 150. But if we remove it, it is changing. You see that it's it's not bad. But anyway, your task is just to maybe if the weather uh, is different, you just go to these menus and do this at least one time per your uh, per your utilization of the device. Okay, so I will switch off and switch on again. Don't forget to press OK. Right. So we set the balance. Okay, and the last one, probably the last very important thing, is setting of the ferrite. Let's go inside. Let's press auto, up, the arrow up. And what we need to do is to, oh, sorry, because we're close to the coil, it, it sees the unit. So I go inside of the ferrite zero, zero. I press up. Oh. Unfortunately, my coil sees anything else, so I will try to fix this situation. Okay, so I had to move the coil really far from the unit because it was affected by the metals in the unit. Okay, so we go to ferrite zero, uh, press up, which is normally auto mode. Okay, I press up, then I take the ferrite specimen and I just advance it to the coil. So you can see uh, below it is a black, uh, like a progress bar. Let's make it again. Auto. Okay, I just move it around the coil and auto and look for the auto bar. And again. Okay, so I need, I need to, I need first of all the co that coil sees the specimen. So the progress bar begins to move, and then I just uh, a little bit change the position of the ferrite. So when I get this value, 41.8, I actually know from the experience that uh, auto automatic uh, ferrite is a little bit inaccurate. So you need to move to the right uh, 1.5 degrees. But let's, let's, so we get the automatic, automatic value for the ferrite, Let's save it and let's go for a test. We go to the menu. So our task is that coil should not see this ferrite specimen. But I know from the experience that it will see it right in the last sector. Let's have a look. It sees it, as I said, in the last sector. So we need to correct the ferrite. We go back to the ferrite zero, okay, and we just and we just apply some uh, some correction, like one point five and uh, one point five degrees, so forty three point something, forty three point point two will be all right. Save, exit. Okay. So what do we see? We see that the coil hears uh, the signal, it sees the signal, but it does not show the signal to you. That means that our ferrite angle is completely uh, tuned. It is absolutely all right. Okay, so uh, basically we are good. Basically we are good. So uh, just maybe the one one last thing last thing is to make the actual coil current. 
so now it is maximum uh, I normally use it on 80 something yeah like something like 80 milliamps 80 milliamps is empiric uh, average current so we are good we are finished with the settings of the coil we can go outside just one small thing if you tune the ferrite in the home uh, and uh, for example it is plus 25 in your home plus 25 degrees Celsius in your home and you go out and it is snow outside so you probably will have to retune or tune a little bit the ferrite angle so you should you should be uh, always sure that a unit does not seize the ferrite okay and another thing actually uh, I forgot to mention is another testing of the ferrite so first of all first very important thing is that we is that unit should not see the ferrite sample right another test will be with the coin and it will be like this uh, the unit should produce one sound for the coil one definite clear sound check this out okay let's pretend uh, so wh wh why I mentioned this because sometimes the automatical uh, ferrite calibration makes it a little bit wrong and I will show you the example so for example uh, sometimes uh, sometimes the ferrite zero um, will tell you not 43 degrees but um, it will be inverted in 180 degrees so in our case it will be uh, 223 let's try it manually I was a little bit wrong with the numbers so normally when you have inverted phase of the uh, of the ferrite it is it just goes 100 180 degrees so in our case the right angle was 43.3 so the wrong the inverted angle will be around minus one one thirty six point seven anyway uh, something like this and check what what will happen so say uh, we will save this so this is the wrong ferrite what will happen we're checking ferrite and it is okay you see that it doesn't hear the the sound right so we feel like it is okay but if we take a coin you see you hear the double signal the double signal the double signal is very good indication that ferrite is inverted so you will have to return this again or go into the menus and just manually move it 180 degrees so after that you just make another test so you make test for ferrite and you take test for a coin it should give you sing single signal okay that's basically it uh, thank you for attention if you have some questions maybe if I missed something if you would, you would like to know something more just let me know in the comments thank you very much